Well, y'all, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. It's time for another pepper powder tasting, courtesy of jppepperseeds.com. Jimmy Pickles, he's a goofball, but he is a awesome businessman. And he is one of the few out there that are isolating their seeds. What does isolation of seeds mean? Well, it means just what you might think it means. It means that those seeds, when they grow up into plants, they're all kept separate with netting and all kinds of special stuff, which he'll tell you about on his uh, YouTube channel. Um, that way there's no cross pollination. Bees can carry pollen around and peppers are um, self pollinators, so they don't actually need the bees for that. But also the wind can carry pollen from place to place. These nets help keep that from happening. What that means is the seeds that you get when you buy from jppepperseeds.com, it's going to grow into what it says the seeds are. No mysteries there. If you want to cross pollinate and play with your seeds and stuff, that's on you, boo. But if you buy from somebody, you want them to be isolated. Also, hello, Jimmy always sends extras. You're buying 10 seeds of something. This is a packet that was for 10 seeds of this, what we're going to taste today, the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion Yellow version. Um, now he does not sell pepper powder. As you see this, it's ground into a powder. What he does is he sells the seeds. He ends up making some powders at the end of the season out of peppers that, you know, he's got a bunch of peppers. What you going to do with them? You can't eat every single pepper by yourself. He makes peppers. He gives them to friends. He lets some of us try them so we can taste them and see what the pepper is like before we go try growing the seeds. <clears throat> and let me tell you, even if you're not a pepper head or a chili head or whatever, sometimes the hot peppers will do it for you. Now, I'm not going to go and eat some of these hot ones that I've tried before. Not straight up. I might use the powder, though, in a spice mix, a little pinch on something so that you're not getting me face melting heat. You're just getting an interesting pepper flavor because a lot of them are really good flavors. Now, this, I've already got the packet open because almost everything is Deborah Proof packaging. We all know this. And I've stuck my little plastic spoon in here. I ran out of the crackers that I always use, my generic not Ritz crackers, because I'm kind of a goofball and forgot to put them on the list. But I'm using pretzels today. Pretzels with cream cheese. And I'm going, and I also have handy a glass of diet tea. And I have handy some milk yeah in my only plastic cup that i ever use of a plastic cup the ultimate joyride it is a slingshot they're fun they really are i don't have one <laughs> no i am not in that financial bracket but i can reminisce and enjoy about the time i drove one by using my little cup okay now i'm going to sit here and use my little plastic spoon and sprinkle some on some of these I have some cream cheese on the pretzels. On the first one, I'll just do a little bit. I'm gonna have to use two hands for this. Hang on, because it does not want to shake off the spoon properly. I should get smart, like Joe from Garden State Gardener and get a shaker, but that would make too much sense. We'll go medium on this one, and we'll go boatload on this one, and I'm going to do one more a little bit later, a little bit different, because I also have one of my all-time favorite barbecue sauces here. Although it is the mild version, I do prefer the hot version, which isn't really hot. Um, it's kind of a mustard-based sauce, but not full-on mustard, from a barbecue place in South Florida that I grew up with this sauce. We could never afford to go to Blue Front Barbecue, but we could get some of the sauce sometimes. Okay, and I love this stuff. I can occasionally get it up here. I'm in North Georgia. I get this in South Carolina sometimes at a Publix. Yes, you can get them to order it for you. All they have when I went this past time was mild, so I bought two bottles of it because I love this stuff. And you can see it's gone, and I'm the only one in the house that eats it. I mix it up and make salad dressings with it too. Okay, yes, I'm that girl. All right, we'll have some of that a little bit later. Okay, I'm going to start with just a teensy amount. Yes, you start low. You, you don't burn your face off straight away, all right? T try it, see if you like it. 
you can see there's a little bit of pepper powder on there with cream cheese on a little baby pretzel all right mm. there is a little heat right on the tongue straight away but it actually took a few seconds to go hi i'm here but with that little bit it's not face melting although when you swallow it it starts to get to your throat hello i'll probably end up coughing but reading about it here on jimmy's website he says the trinidad maruga scorpion comes from maruga trinidad and tobago this is one of the top hottest peppers in the world medium to high yields this mushroom looking pepper ripens red it has a little bit of a tail as a thick tail extremely fruity flavor when you cut one of these open you'll notice yellowish oil inside that is the capsaicin oil <clears throat> excuse me which brings the heat to the pepper with high fruity flavor comes atomic heat this is the yellow version which is a little bit less heat than the red version and more of a citrusy flavor than a fruity flavor Right now, all I'm getting is heat at this point. I don't think I had enough of the powder on there to really get a flavor, but it is sneaking some heat right up in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not melch face off yet. There was a little tiny bit that went down my throat that was like, <laughs> yeah, it's going to try to get you. All right. Let's go to the next little bit, which was more of it. Mm. with more of the powder I got a hint of some citrusy flavor that went right up through my nose strangely enough but definitely some heat for a non pepper head a non chili head this is gonna be hot AF okay I don't care that it says oh it's a little less hot than this other one blah 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 it's hot for me but am I gonna stop no if there was a problem yo I solve it check out this chili and watch me dissolve it mm-hmm trying to keep it in the front of my mouth to get to taste more of it before it starts going down my throat and making me cough. And it's a sneaky cheeky too. It's coming up afterwards and going, hi, we're still here and we're still hot. Hello. Yeah, that's seriously what it's doing. Mm. We'll drink my tea. There definitely is a citrusy fruitiness there. Would I want to sit here and eat this straight? No. But am I going to do it anyway? Probably. I am going to uh, have a little bit of milk first. Mostly to swish around my mouth. Get a little coated there. I'm gonna get a little bit out of here without a straight up seed pod in it maybe oh this is a little rougher grind there Jimmy yes I'm being judicious with the amount of pepper I use because I really don't want to burn my face off this is some hot stuff there we go Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. It's hot, y'all. Mm. Whoo. Don't have a little bit of cream cheese. 
not wrong with it. Definitely burns. My eyes are watery. Don't mind the skin stuff. That's just eczema. <laughs> I'm having a little more milk. But notice I'm not chugging the milk. I took a small mouthful, let it go around my mouth a little bit, cool it off. You don't want to like turn up a gallon of milk and drink it. That's going to make you sick. All right. I should have gotten another spoonful out before I stuck my mouth on that spoon. So we're going to try a little something else. Actually. This is super sweet. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Mm. Ooh, a little more. Gotten all up in my gums, you know, making my gums hot. Nobody wants hot gums. Hot body, yes, but hot gums, no. Just a little bit up in there. Okay. Seal this bad boy up before I spill it. Now I've got my sauce, some cream cheese, and some of those pepper flakes. Mmm. That sure makes my barbecue sauce hot. I could probably add <clears throat> an eighth of a teaspoon of the pepper powder into a half a cup of the barbecue sauce. It'll just, boom, bump it up a little bit with a little bit of heat without being face melting like this is. But straight up like that, Oh, it shows you the intensity. Yeah, I'm trying to mitigate the heat, okay? It's good, though. Especially mixed with something that you already like. If you have someone in the house that maybe doesn't do heat at all, get them some mild. Of this stuff here, Blue Fart Barbecue Sauce. Um, not sponsored, obviously. It comes from Lake Worth, Florida. That's where I lived for a number of years when I was growing up. And then if you want to bump it up a couple of notches for yourself, add some to it. You're good to go. Mm. Plain. Mmm. Mm. I'm probably going to be fighting this burn for a little while. <laughs> Just saying. It lingers. It sticks around in your mouth because it is some potent stuff. Would I want to eat one of these peppers myself? Just plunk? No. But grill it, <clears throat> dry it, grind it, make a powder out of it, and put it in stuff? Absolutely. Again, get your seeds. JPPepperSeeds.com. Fantastic business, ma'am. Order from him. He's putting that order out the next day. The next possible day to mail it in the mail, it's there. Seriously, I've ordered from him a few times. He has more milder stuff, too. He also has a playlist about, or a video about um, the top five mild peppers that he sells. Check it out. If I remember, I'll put a link to it up here. But I will definitely see you next time. More tasting more pepper powders and melting my face off. See you soon. Bye, y'all.